Hey guys, Cody Helmer here and I've got a video for you that is going to give you the secret sauce of success in your Plexus business, okay? So this is going to absolutely blow your mind. Now there's a lot of things that we could be doing that's moving our businesses for us. It's good for ourselves, good for our teams, good for our personal growth, those types of things. But my biggest tip when anybody asks me is to do it scared, of course, but as far as um, what you should be doing going wide in your business. Personally recruiting. Now, I love personally recruiting. I love getting new people started on their journey. It makes me feel good. It grows my business. It's a win-win for everybody, right? People are, their lives are being changed by these products. Everybody wins. Of course, you want to be bringing people in the correct way. That is really, really important. You enroll them as an ambassador. You get them started with a Triplex Welcome Pack. They're saving money. They've got their foundational products. You make sure they have their subscription order on because we know 80% of people who come in with that off are never going to reorder, which is crazy because now they're out there telling their friends that Plexus doesn't work, when in all actuality, they just didn't take the products long enough. Um, and you work way too hard to get somebody signed up simply for a business building bonus um, and then that's it and that's all she wrote so you want to make sure people are getting signed up the right way they're coming in correctly they're getting set up for success but here is the secret sauce now I'm going to tell you what is going to take your business to the next level and that is silver if you have not already gone silver go silver we all know three people that would get signed up with these products and try these products, right? We all know three people. Actually, a Harvard study says we all know 400 people on average um, that you could be reaching out to about this, this product or this opportunity, right? But going silver and helping your teams go silver in this business. I'm going to share with you guys some statistics that are going to blow your mind. Now, these are company-wide statistics um, straight from Plexus corporate headquarters, okay? And that is that if you can get somebody in your organization to silver within their first 90 days, 80 to 90% of those people will still be with you a year from now ordering products. Is that not the craziest thing you've ever heard? It is so, so true. Now think about that. Think about how many people you've brought into your organization and have already quit. Could you imagine what your business would look like had you gotten everybody or as many people as you possibly could to silver in their first 90 days? That is the secret sauce, my friends, getting your people to silver and helping your people help their people get to silver. And that is how we duplicate and that is how we multiply our organizations quickly. So focus on getting your people silver. Never, ever stop personally recruiting level ones and never, ever stop getting people to silver. Now, a quick tip about um, how to get people to silver. I promise you, if you're leading with the business opportunity, people are going to come in with the business in mind and they're going to go silver faster than if you're leading with the products and hoping to help people get results and then hoping to help them share later on down the road, okay? Because again, in their first 90 days, if you can get them to silver, the likelihood of them being with you a year from now, still ordering products is really, really good. So you wanna be getting people in with the business in mind and ready to share. Now, what happens if they come in, or maybe you have people right now who came in with the products, um, they're having great results, but they don't necessarily wanna share. I promise you it is fear-based that people are not sharing their results. So I'm gonna give you a quick tip on how you can get them sharing in an indirect kind of way. It's really, really simple. You just simply ask them if you can share their testimony. That's it. Pretty simple, right? So when you're reaching out to your people, which you should stay connected with your people often to make sure they're taking their products correctly and consistently and all of those things, and you're trying to um, help uh, try to help them re realize and recognize their wins because a lot of people are hyper-focused on the scale and they're not paying attention to those non-scale victories. So that's kind of your job as their cheerleader to help point out those wins and really celebrate them. 
But when somebody shares with you that they're having some wins and they don't, they maybe they've already told you that they're not interested in sharing, um, a great way to get them to do that is to just ask if you can share their testimony. So what would that look like? Something like this. Oh my gosh, Sarah, the the results that you're having are so awesome. Now, I know that you weren't interested in sharing and that's totally okay, but I personally have a lot of friends who I know would be so inspired by your story. Would you mind if I shared it? And that's it. Most people say yes, that you can share their story. So you, all you would do next is just kind of take it a step further and say, would it be okay if I tagged you in this post for third party validation? Most people say yes to that too. And then you put together a quick, really quickly put together a quick testimony of some of their wins that they shared with you, grab a nice picture of them, um, and put together a post. If you want to, you can kick them that post and just say, hey, does this look okay? get their approval, and then post it on Facebook. Now, what, what that's going to do is it's going to get their story out there and people are going to start liking and commenting it. It's going to get attention. They always do. And you can always ask for boosts in the booster chat for your friend as well um, so that we can all come in and kind of help you boost it out. But um, what that does is it gets the word out and some of their friends are going to see it and some of their friends are going to comment and you can kick them a message and say, oh my gosh, Sarah, do you see all of the things, all of the comments on your post? I knew that you were going to inspire so many people with your story. I am so excited for you. Now, do you want to reach out to these people or do you want me to reach out to these people? I would be happy to, to put them in a three-way chat so that we can kind of help them together and you're going to help them get signed up under your friend. Now, what happens if they don't want people to be signed up under them? I mean, that would be crazy, but if it happens, I want you to be prepared. It's okay if they really do not want to go silver and they don't want people signed up under them at all. Um, it's okay for you to say, okay, no problem. I would be happy to help your friends for you. And for every one of your friends that sign up with me with a welcome pack, I would be happy to kick you a $5 um, off coupon or PayPal um, for you to take off of your next order. It's a really great way for you to expand your network and also offer them a little something something kind of as a referral program um, just as a thank you for letting them, letting you tap into their market. But again, we know that the way you multiply your organization is get people on your team to silver. So if you can sign up three friends under them and help them see how easy it is to do that and to get them a paycheck, the chances of them staying with you for the long haul is pretty darn good. So, you guys, I hope I gave you some really great things to think about today. Focus on enrollments, getting your personal enrollments up. Never, ever stop doing that. And then get your team to silver as quickly as possible. All right, guys, I hope that helps today, and I hope you have an awesome day. Goodbye.